Hi, I'm Chloe, and welcome to Chloe World. Today, I want to share all about the Louis Vuitton pad lock and show you how to clean them. It's supposed to be here on the classic speedy to lock the bag, but I don't like hanging the pad lock here because I've seen the cracking around the hole after a long time of using it this way. And it's supposed to be here on the bag that has double zipped closure to lock the bag. But I don't do it this way either because it makes some scratches on the zipper pullers. And you can hang the padlock anywhere you want as a decoration for the bag. I use it in this way not often but sometimes. In a word, I don't use my padlocks a lot but rather keep them in the dust bag. And I realized that there are two types of padlock. One that is always shiny and never changes the color. And the other one that changes the color and gets tarnished. Unfortunately, most of my padlocks are the latter. They get tarnished even in the dust bag. These two are the only shiny one that I have which came with my Alma BB in Dami Eban and my Speedy B30 in Dami Azure. It's so funny because I bought two Alma BB, one came with the shiny one but the other one came with the one that changes the color easily. And as you know, I have many speedy bags but just one came with the shiny one. At first I thought it's the number because both of shiny one begin with number 3, they are 300 something. But later on I got the tarnished one that begins with 3. So it turned out it's not the number issue either. I tried to find out the routine and rule for this but I couldn't. I'm so sad about it but let's move on. Let me show you. I'm gonna use a piece of soft cloth and car compound. You know, the car compound is the thing that you use to polish your car by yourself. This particular thing is from a Korean car company, Hyundai. But any car compound works well. You can get it anywhere for low price. I think it's less than $10. Anyway, let's begin. You might think I'm so fast, but actually I'm doing the fast forward because I don't want my video to become too long. I've done with the padlock, let me finish the keys as well. As you can see here, the car compound works quite well, right? The one that I just cleaned looks exactly as it was when I bought it. Of course it's not forever, it's gonna get tarnished again, but it lasts quite long in my experience. You can see here it gets slightly lighter in color, but you know it looks much better than the tarnished one. I'm so happy for the fact that I can make it shiny again by myself, even for low price. And if you already have the car compound, it's free. Trust me, it works well with the rusty look as well. You should try this if you have any tarnished padlock. If you need any further information, feel free to ask me on YouTube and thank you very much for watching my video. Bye bye!